Here I've been asked to talk about the Malone pipe. And of course, let, what is a pipe? What is a lead pipe? Let me, let's, let's talk about that briefly. The lead pipe is the very beginning part of the trumpet. It in, includes the receiver, the part that the mouthpiece fits into, the tapered tube, that first initial taper. That's the lead pipe. That's the Malone pipe is this particular example. The taper and the pipe itself is a very, very important part of the trumpet design. It can make a trumpet better or it can make it worse if it's not done correctly. There are many components of the lead pipe that are important and can make or break a trumpet. It can determine whether a trumpet is good or not so good. The receiver itself, how it's made, the gap between the end of the trumpet mouthpiece and the beginning of the lead pipe taper, the venturi of the pipe, the shape of it, the rate of the taper, the material that's being used, the temper of the metal, the overall design. Those are all very important components and if done properly, they will help ensure that a trumpet's performance is optimal. When I was a, a younger player, I struggled with my equipment, and particularly with sea trumpets, a very difficult instrument. I uh, had built-in problems, intonation problems, problems with tone color being uneven, problems with resistance, uh, problems in being not predictable. And my needs as a young player drove me, as my skills became better at at design and with repair and being able to work on brass instruments. The result of this is the Malone pipe. And the Malone pipe, if you're having those same kind of problems that I had in struggling to play your trumpet, you're struggling with response, you're struggling with intonation, you're struggling with the ability to be able to control it and not have the trumpet control you. The Malone pipe is something that you might consider to help you reach your goal, to help you as your life as a player become easier so that you can concentrate on the music and not so much on the trumpet. If you uh, have a chance to listen to some great soloists, uh, often you'll find them playing on, on lead pipes, the Malone pipe. In major symphony orchestras, you'll be able to listen to those players playing on Malone pipes. The lead pipe, of course, is a very important component. It's not the only part that creates a sound, but it's a very important beginning component that can help guide the sound. So the Malone pipe brings all of the advantages of good intonation, very even tone color, great response, flexibility in response. And then the physical design of it allows the lead pipe to be utilized on the trumpet in a correct way. For instance, the Chicago C trumpet, the Malone MC1 lead pipe used on the Chicago C trumpet has a very unique feature with the oversleeve. If you look at the Chicago trumpet, this trumpet, you'll, you'll notice this extra piece. This oversleeve is very important in how it allows the bell to be correctly placed on the C trumpet. This is very important and this is very unique to the Malone pipe. I spent many years developing lead pipes and other modifications and other technologies on my own. But my greatest realization of, of potential personally and professionally came when I joined Yamaha. Because my core values as a designer in respecting other players, in listening to what they have to say, in, uh, in trying to satisfy them 100%, and trying to create the best musical instrument that would allow those players to express their musical creativity. Those are the exact same core values that Yamaha has. And when I came to Yamaha, it was such an easy, great coming together of the same thinking. The result of that has been able, has been seen 
in new instruments that I could not have created on my own. It's a partnership, a great coming together of all of these different resources that has allowed great instruments to be produced like the Chicago Sea Trumpet.